10 o'clock and only on two tonight. Small businesses are suffering all over the Houston area, especially our restaurants. Tonight, we are hearing about one restaurant that has been evicted, but that hasn't stopped the workers from helping those on the front lines of the virus. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon live tonight in Upper Kirby to explain. Roseanne? That's right. The threat of eviction is something the last thing they wanted to deal with. But take a look at this. You could see the business is locked and they were told it would stay that way unless they could pay their debt. The coronavirus is threatening the longevity of small businesses, but this one was still determined to help the frontliners in need. With COVID-19's wrath sweeping the world, the harsh reality livelihoods in jeopardy. For Wings 87, it's no different. We built everything from scratch and we opened this business. Six months ago, this was built with Rashid Minhas and his wife's life savings and a core foundation of serving helpers. Community service is very close to our hearts. 10% is offered to our neighbors, teachers, veterans, first responders. But they never anticipated Corona virus and things went down the hill they say their landlord warned that if they could not pay their debt they'd be shut out on wednesday april 1st and i said okay but even with dwindling sales they decided their livelihood came second to lives their priority help life savers local business owner nelvin adriatico organized a massive effort to feed medical and first responders at the fort bend testing site on monday and tuesday minhas and his wife didn't hesitate can you guys do donate 100 burgers. They said right away, yes. But when Minhas went to cook food for Tuesday's meal, Locked it down. they were devastated. That landlord is not a robot, like blood runs in his uh, body as well. Still, duty called. We immediately went home, let's start cooking. They made 70 boxes of fried rice and fried chicken. Whatever we can do, we will continue to do. Adriatico, who is also a landlord. We can lock anyone out, even they're just one day late. But come on, have a heart. They all say more should be done to help the backbone of the local economy. We want to be the voice of our community. They want to speak out for all small businesses. They are still working out on how they are going to pay the rent. As for the landlord, we reached out to them and have yet to hear back. From Upper Kirby, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Roseanne, thank you. And